To start recording in Adobe Audition, you'll have to click the red button right here and you'll have an option to change the file name. Then you'll have to look at the sample rate and sample rate, I usually choose 44.1 kilohertz. That's the um, sample rate that YouTube, YouTube uses, Spotify uses it as well. So it's, it's quite common, 48 is often used for video formats. And you can also record at a higher uh, sample rate. So if you want to, if you end up exporting in 44.1 kilohertz, you may as well choose to record at 88.2 kilohertz and then you will downgrade when you will export. But really the, the difference is going to be minuscule. And then there's no reason to record in stereo, so just choose mono here, bit depth, I like to use 32 bit float because it allows you to go above zero decibels and you'll have a comfort of avoiding audio clipping and then at the end you can export in 24 bit and because usually that's what YouTube and, and uh, some other platforms uses as well. So you're going to click OK, it will start recording and that's about it with waveform. If you don't start recording, it may be that you haven't chosen the correct or maybe by default your computer didn't pick up the correct microphone. So you can do that right here in preferences or your hardware and choose your microphone. Now, you can also use a multi-track editor. So a similar menu will appear. You'll click OK. And right here to start recording, you'll you'll need to choose this R button. Otherwise, it won't do anything. So you're going to click this R button. You can also choose which microphone you want to use here. I have two uh, input lines, so though only the first one has a microphone. So I can choose this one, we we'll click the red button and we start uh, recording. And then if you're doing a podcast, you just in general using multiple microphones, you can find them right here uh, and you can click the R box for each track that you're going to use. You can choose different microphones for each track and then you will click the record button and you'll start recording using multiple microphones. I only have one microphone inserted, so I'm not going to do that.